Hello everybody, this is um, the continuation of yesterday's video because we were working on fabric this week. So um, I showed you this yesterday that I did with the napkin and then I painted on top of it which is going to be a sewing kit. On the inside, I already did this to save time for the video, I got a normal jelly print and I um, painted it the same way I painted it in the front with the circles and you know the little lines and everything and that's already pasted on. Then I made another little panel which is going to go right on top of here and it's going to be where my pockets are going to go to close up this thing. I'm going to excuse myself in advance because here today there's a holiday and everybody's home. Um, my husband's playing cards in the other room, my kids are in the other room and today is um, it would be St. Sebastian's. It's um, the master of, you know, the, the town. So um, it's a big party. Like they all go into the town hall and they're going to bring bring the saint out on the streets and, and you know, um, everybody walks behind this saint and everything. And um, yeah, so it, it happens. It's always the 20th of January. And this year it fell on weekdays. So it's actually today. And so... What I'm going to start doing here is I folded in an edge here because I'm going to glue. Now I'm glue gunning everything. This was pasted on top with um, normal glue. So um, this is a no sew project for a little sewing book, a little sewing kit. So I'm just going to run some glue along the edge here to make a little seam. Um, would you call it a seam in English? I think so, yeah. Oh my goodness, I forgot how to say certain things. Okay, so I remember it in Italian. I don't remember it in English. So we have this, and this is going to be joining here. Now what I did before I started everything was just to make sure I know where I'm going to get my pockets. Oops, have this elastic sticking out that's catching on everything. Um, I folded it up, so that way I know more or less where I'm going to run some glue down here to, to close up my little pockets on these edges. Okay, so I'll start here. You guys seen that? Yes, okay. And this is a really cute project, you guys, um, for, you know, your kids that are in dancing school or your grandchildren that are in dancing school. You always need a little sewing kit ready for when they have, you know, their plays and things like that. And they're for yourselves when you're out and about, have something small in your purse. Okay, I think I got that on straight. Um, excuse my hands, they're terrible. Had them in paint, can't stand these strings. Okay, so my first one would be down here. And I'm just going to turn that over like that. And run some glue down here. In a straight line. and press. Okay, my second one is here. I just want to make sure that the bottom here is meeting all together. So this here I turned as well too, these two seeds that you see here. I turned them and glued them with, you know, normal white glue. Like I said yesterday, there are glues for fabric. You can use that perfectly well. And as you can see here, I put a piece of rickrack on top to, you know, show that there are, um, this is the pocket, because I did both the, exactly the same. And then I found some really cool stuff to continue um, decorating on the inside. I thought, why not use it here? Kind of like a little Bix Media. Um, Thing. Now, if you guys want to, you can, you know, do running stitches to close off these pockets. It's, um, it would be fairly easy to, you know, run. It would be a little bit hard, yeah, for the needle to go through. And you could probably use a nice thicker thread, like, you know, um, crochet thread, a nice thick thread to, to do this work. Okay, this one goes all the way down to here because the last one is a bigger pocket.
Okay. Now I had made it a lot bigger because I wanted to, you know, kind of give the pocket space to put things in. But I'm noticing the things that I am going to be putting in, they're not really bulky stuff. So, you know, they're going to fit easily. And actually, they'll even fit, you know, like a bit snug. So that way they don't fall out this side. What would be cute is, you know, if you're going to make a big, huge piece, like I have lots of extra pieces here of the jelly print that I did because I did one big piece, I can make a little pouch for this as well too. So that way you can close it up in your purse and nothing's going to fall out of it. Okay, now I'm going to cut this piece here. Try not to cut this elastic. And I'm just going to cut it a little bit bigger. See the elastic underneath? Yes. So I'm just eyeballing it here, you guys. I'm not a straight cutter. I'm always cutting things crooked. Yeah, so my husband had opened the store up this morning, but then he decided to close it this afternoon because um, nobody's going to be around. They're all going to be in, you know, the town to to celebrate the saint. Here they really, you know, celebrate saints. Last year I was at this um, at this thing, and because there was a fair going on and but it there was you know a lot of problems and everything and had to even go to the cops after because apparently um the the mayor of the town had decided that where all the other people were going to be because a whole bunch of stands come you know and they're selling you know the traditional candies italian candies and toys and um nuts and things like that and they you know park themselves all along the street and they've always done this you know it's been years and years and years since they've done this and what happened last year was the t the mayor had decided that she wanted to move them because the stores were complaining that are in the center of the town that they cover up everything and you know I wasn't I liked the idea you know because they were they weren't too far away these people they were just you know moved um, beside the church, you know, which would be always the center of town. So, but there was a big, huge ride about this, and they were telling us to go home and um, and not be there at all. And uh, some people were, you know, kind of uh, how can you say threatened. So yeah, and um, it was too bad. Um, tons, like I hadn't been at this thing for many 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 years um, I don't like confusion so and there's a lot of confusion and like the place was packed but um, no sales whatsoever people were just you know taking walks and things like that just to see the stuff that was there and you always expect that after Christmas holidays you know because people have spent a lot of money for Christmas and things like that so they're kind of con trying to recuperate as well too okay I gotta get this on straight let's see if I can do this right a little bit of glue coming out here but I'll just take that right off Okay, now I'm going to fix the bottom here. Because I could still lift it up. Well, that's a nice thing about, you know, hot glue that you can pretty much pick what pick what, you know, you don't want on there, pick it off. Come on not coming up and the last piece here okay so that's all glued in this current corner here kind of came out a bit Let's see if I put another piece of bit of the glue down there and hold it tight. There. Okay. So 
so we have this up until now. The Rick Rack um, was added with the glue gun as well too. So this is what I found. I've been saving, you know, these fabric tags from clothes, which I think are really cute. And, you know, there's some really neat ones. Um, this one that says Mona Lisa. This green one. And I just want to paste them here and there. I have this one that I put my safety pins on. It's from Jeeps, and I'm just going to stick it into one of my pockets. Like that. You know, so it can just be pulled out. So, I'm going to kind of put these, place these first, see where I want them. Did I have any more? No, I don't think I did. Okay, so. add a little bit of interest. Then what I did was I got another piece of um, jelly print and I just, you know, um, put some buttons on here so you can have, you know, a few buttons in your sewing kit as well too. And that would go straight in here. I put a little piece of cardboard in the back so that way, you know, it keeps, the fabric keeps straight and you can just pull it right out like that too. Okay, now I have this. Now, we can always put a little package of needles in here and pins. I don't have anything here right now. They're all on the other side of the house. And I just tied this up in a bow, and I'm going to paste only the um, the ribbon. So that way, when you need needles, I bought this at an antique show once and you put needles in here so you can just untie it and you know have your needles in here saved then this would be for my scissors just want to give it another touch of glue here yeah the big boy he's being a bad boy he's so annoying sometimes he meows and continues he wants to go outside but I'm not letting him Okay, then I would have this as well too that I do want to stick it somehow, but I just haven't figured out how. And then, um, you know, I have these little snap buttons that can go in here as well too. Um, I would have, these are popsicle sticks that I want to wind some thread around. And I just painted them white. So these would be um, what I would wind my thread around. And they would go in here. And you can all put more in them if you want. And then I have my safety pins. You always need safety pins in a sewing kit. And I did have a little measuring tape, but I'm not finding it around here right now. It's just a little one. One that I got from Tupperware once. So this one doesn't go in very well because it's only fabric. and So this would be something that I have to deal with. Um, if I put it in a pocket, I'm afraid that, you know, the wire here is going to go. So I'm going to figure out a way to, you know, um, stick that here in front. So this is nice and dry now. You can always just take it apart and I'd have my needles in here. So we're pretty much done here. I just want to see how it closes up now with a nice tie and 
I'm wondering if I should put my scissors in the last one. And there we have our little sewing kit. Naturally, we can cut these pieces off here, closing it up. This would be tucked in. And I have these ones here. Now, if you would want to, you can run a nice little ribbon all the way around. I like it the way it is, just, you know, having it like this. And we have our sewing kit. So, you know, use some things that you have around the house where you can wind some thread around. Um, something pretty to put some extra buttons on. Um, you know, make sure you have your needles and, you know, some little snap buttons. And um, if you would need a, a measuring tape, you know, you can get those little tiny measuring tapes or paper tapes that are perfect to use. So um, this is my video, you guys. I hope you really like it. Um, I'm sorry that I really shortened the time to do all the work, most of, you know, the, the kind of work that I did before. And... Um, you know, so that way it would become a short video. I'm having problems again with internet as usual. And um, yeah, so think of these tags as well too when you're, you know, taking them off of clothes that they make really cute embellishments. And um, it goes with the theme as well too. In the future, when I do find more, I will probably stick them in here just, you know, to make it look cute. And that's about it. So yeah, I hope you really like this video and um, thank you so much for watching I mm, tomorrow I will probably it's between two things I'll leave it as a surprise so that way I don't say something and then I'm not going to do it and um, so that's about it let's close up my sewing kit again this is perfect for a trip you put the colors in here that you're going to need you know if something goes wrong which, you know, would usually be black, white, um, a neutral color. Always put gray in your sewing kits because gray is neutral. And, you know, you can fix something up in a no time and you can hardly see it. So that's it, you guys. Until tomorrow, I hope you liked it. And um, everybody have a nice day. Goodbye.